ran out of gas. Welcome to Wild West Garage. My name's Morgan. And that is a Husqvarna 266, I believe. It's my chainsaw. It's completely stock, but that's going to change today. I am going to build a, uh, I'm going to take the muffler off and I'm going to build a pipe for it. I know this isn't a chainsaw channel, but if you know me, you know who the people I hang with, especially one, one guy in particular, he's a chainsaw nut. He likes his pipes. We've been talking about pipes. I've looked at some of the pipes he has and the way they're built. Um, and I want to do it my way. So that's all I'm going to say. So I've got some ideas. So let's get to work. And just real quick here, in order to get this muffler off, you got to take the, the brake housing off and you got to take the dogs off because there's a screw right here that is sandwiching this part in. So let's take a look at what we got here. So this is the original muffler. I'm going to call it a muffler. It's not a pipe. We're building the pipe. So I'm just going to put this back in here for a sec. You can see what we've got to work with here. So the, the new pipe can stick out you know, a little bit past here, right? As this one does. And then it can stick out on the side a little bit, as this one does. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna have my uh, ports yet, like my outlet, but uh, I'm just, you know, I've got an idea in my head, nothing on paper. And then you can see what we got inside here. So, unless I wanna do a bolt through See, see the way this this has bolts that run right through or studs that run right through the, the muffler I don't really want to do that I might depending on what happens here I might make it so I can reuse these but um, basically what I want to do is I want to make a chamber down here in this part and then I want to have another pipe going up to a chamber up here. And then I'm going to have the outlet coming out here just like it is on, on the stock muffler. So um, I just got to find some material or either make, just make these parts. Um, if I could find some exhaust tubing that would fit in there, or if I could just squish it to fit in there like an op, like a oval kind of shape cross-section that would be good but I think I'm just gonna end up making these parts and we'll see how it goes I'm, I'm all about in my mind a two-stroke engine needs an expansion chamber to really to really pick it up so that's what I'm that's what I'm going for here so see that that is an imprint of that and the way I made that was I held this piece of or that piece I tried this one too but I just held this over here with my finger like that and then I took a hammer that hammer and I gently tapped around the whole piece until it made this made this outline of that that flange that port flange there so now I'm going to cut this out and transfer it onto a piece of steel there I made a better one you can see it almost cuts it out for you and if I kept going around with the hammer it would cut it out but I don't want to I mean it's, it's awkward I'm down in there with the with my finger and I'm hitting my hand and stuff so uh, this is good now
Just a little progress report here. So I've got the plate there, and that's the uh, bottom chamber, I guess you want to call it. And so I'm going to connect this port to this pipe here, to this piece. This is a two and a quarter inch exhaust tubing that I just flattened. And then this piece is going to go up here. Not going to have this long pipe on it. It's going to get cut off at some point here. But uh, I'm just fitting this together now, I'm trying to get a nice sweep on the exit. Here we are so far. <clears throat> you can see, got the flange there, got the two chambers welded all to it. See how that comes out of the uh, port. It's got this sweep here, and then it sweeps out. This is going to get cut off again. I'm going to say that again because I know people skip through videos. So, uh, anyway, take a look. I don't know if you can see inside, but anyway, so now I just got to close this. This end up, and I'm just working on this part right here where I'm just going to weld that along there, and then I'm going to form some tin to close this, close this up. So what I'm doing here is just I just keep I'm hitting this down with a hammer. See how it is there. So I I just hit this down until it touches more or less, and then I run the dit. Uh, the uh, zip disc through there and then I just keep I'm just going to keep doing that until that's more uh, straight on like a butt instead of like actually I don't think I want to so I got I kind of got carried away here uh, I didn't show how I made this end cap but uh, Anyways, I just uh, I just took a piece of uh, it's 18 gauge, and then roughly <clears throat> it was it was a square more or less with a kind of rounded corners, and then I just uh, <clears throat> used this ball peen hammer and I, I pounded it into this this hole here on the on the on the anvil just to stretch it out and round it out a bit. And then I uh, brought it over here onto this excavator tooth and planished it out a bit on top of that. And then I, uh, <clears throat> I did a button cut here. I tacked it on. And then I, like I had a tack here, a tack here. And then I cut through here, through both layers, about halfway, welded it. And then I did the other side, welded it. And once both sides were uh, welded, then I just started forming this. Just I used this uh, cross peen hammer here and just kept hitting it like this and pushing it down into this this valley here, and then just you know formed it around here, and it all went together really nicely. It fits on the saw pretty good. <clears throat> it's not touching anything. There's clearance all the way around it. So now I, I built this so that I could use the um, like the original mounting hardware. So now I'm just going to, I don't know what I did with the thing, <laughs> the original muffler. I'm just going to pull the, the studs out of it, put them back onto the saw, oh it's right here, <laughs> looking right at it, yeah so these guys, I'm going to pull these out and uh, and then I'll have to make a, a plate that goes across here with a couple holes in it so I can pull it down onto the saw. So at this point you might be wondering why I just didn't use the gasket to make the template for the, or to use it as a template for this flange. Well. I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video, I didn't have a plan for this. I was just kind of 
I had an idea, but I wasn't sure exactly how it's going to work out. So I didn't want to take that all apart because now we got loose parts and uh, I want to keep this original muffler. So uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to take that apart. So that's why I didn't use the, the gasket. I, I thought of that earlier, but that's why I didn't use that. And if I had used it, I wouldn't have been able to show you how to make a template the way I did. So it all works out, doesn't it? All right. First fire with the new pipe. saw so it's doing something it got uh, it's fatter it's uh, it's running richer on the top end so um, that's to me indicates that it's pulling more air and fuel I guess so uh, I'm not gonna mess around with it much more 
how to get a bar on it and get it in wood. Uh, I don't know if you saw, I guess I didn't tighten it up enough. It came loose. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's going to be good. I showed it to Buck and he wants to try it on one of his saws, so we'll let him do that. I just got to do one more thing here. There is a, a brace down to this bolt hole, so I'm going to add that. And then uh, that'll be it. There was also a brace over like over to here too, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I suppose I could. Might not be a bad idea. I'll see how I feel in a minute here. All right, there it is all finished. Just welded this tab on here. Um, you know, it doesn't, it sticks out a little bit more than the original one, I guess. I, actually, it, let's see. So the original muffler has this thing on it here. And so that sticks out. Yeah, it's kind of flush with the bolt heads, I guess. The bolt, like the, the studs sticking out of there. So this does stick out a little bit more than the original one would, would have. So about maybe a quarter of an inch more. And of course this is thicker too. This is a piece of uh, used eighth inch material, the three sixteenths. And that original brace is just sheet metal. So you know, it sticks out a little bit more. So your, your reach with your bar is going to be limited. And of course this sticks out more as well. But anyways, that's, that's hot rodding for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to stick out more. So um, I'm going to put a, I, got a, I think it's a 24 inch bar that I've got for this thing. And in the, uh, in the, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a 24 inch bar. So I'm going to get at least a 28 inch bar for it. I need a new chain anyways. So, and the bar is pretty much had it. It's the original bar that I had on that saw, the saw since I got it years ago. So I'm ready for a new bar, a new chain. And try this thing out and see if it cuts any better. It's getting more power. At least that psychologically it's going to have more power, right? <laughs> so anyways, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks serious. All right, so Morgan's saw shop, Morgan's hot rod saw shop. Um, I'll be porting it next. <laughs> uh, I already showed it to Bucken. He uh, he wants to try it out on one of his hot rod saws, so I'm gonna let him do that, and uh, he'll do all the he'll 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 do a before and after or whatever. He'll try it with a stock stock muffler, try it with my muffler, time it and all that. I'm sure he'll do that, so uh, you can look forward to seeing that down the road somewhere. Anyways, in the meantime, take it easy. See you next time.